So programming the calculator is very simple. If you know how to use the calculator, then you know how to program it. To enter into program mode, blue shift, and then program. Right now I've, I've got a number of programs in here. But let's enter in a new label. A label lets the, uh, the execute function know which program you want to run. So I do a label and then say I want to enter in A for my label. And it automatically puts in A001, so that's the first line of our program. And let's say we want our program just to input two numbers, take the square of them, and then the square root of the result. So we just want square root of A squared plus B squared. Maybe we're finding the hypotenuse on a triangle. So first, let's input A. So if I go to gold and then input, that will prompt the user to input A. Let's take that result and square it. So let's go to blue shift and then square it. So input A puts the number that the user uses, puts in into the X register, and then we just squared it. Now let's input Y. Uh, sorry, B. And let's square that. Then we want to add those two together. And then take the square root of the result. And now the last step is to gold shift and return. So there's our program. To execute it, hit the execute button, and then our program label is A, and you can enter in 001 to go to the first line or just hit enter. So it asks us for A. Let's do 3. Hit the run stop key, not enter. If you just if you hit enter, then it just actually increments that in the stack. So run stop, ask for B, let's put in 4, run stop, and it gives us our answer of 5. So the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared should be 5. <clears throat> There's many more things you can do with the program. Uh, you can store variables, recall them. You can do any of the functions you would normally do. You can do go to so you can check for a a uh, a value so you can do is the x the value in the x register not equal to the value in the y register is it less than or equal to is it equal to is it greater than or equal to etc and if not then you can go to another line or go to a previous line or whatever you want to do there's there's quite a bit of functionality built into it But that's sort of beyond the scope of a, a simple video.